Our first trend for today's video is bows. This is like the most adorable trend all over social media that I have been seeing right now. And I actually just got this cardigan from Urban Revivo and it has these super cute little velvet bows on them. And it's actually a removable pin, which is kind of genius and amazing because I can take these bows off this sweater if I want and put them on other things. Is this not the cutest little sweatshirt? I'm so obsessed. These are my go-to boots for everything. They're from Sam Edelman. I got them a few years ago. It's just the most comfortable boot and they just go with literally every single outfit. Yeah, I think that works. This is just kind of one of the easiest ways to style this trend is literally you can just safety pin bows to your things. I wanted to style two outfits for every single trend that we are doing. So, okay, this is our outfit number one. I think this one's okay. I'm not like thrilled on this outfit. I think it's cute though. It's cutesy girly, which is fun. We love that. I want to style this trend in another way that I'm seeing it, which is with like hair accessories. So actually what I'm going to do is just take off the bows from this cardigan. I have on these kind of super wide baggy jeans and I'm gonna pair it with some sneakers. These ones are so cute because they have the ribbon, which I think kind of ties into the bow trend a little bit. In my opinion, I feel like all of the bows is just a byproduct from all the ballet core, which is like going hard. I wanted to make a, a more casual outfit and just kind of show like how subtle this trend can be and like you don't really need a lot. These are actually two little strings that I clipped off from like a shirt or something. I'm just gonna tie those in my hair in these cute little bows and this is kind of one of my favorite ways that I have been seeing the trend and personally rocking this trend. I've just been taking like little ribbon and just tying it in my hair like it's just the cutest little cherry on top and I think just adds a little bit of softness and girliness to your outfit. And also like this trend literally cost me nothing to do like these were just like the strings that were on a shirt that I already had hanging in my closet and um, yeah now I have cute little hair bows which is like the funnest thing. Oh you know what would also be cute is if the I attach the bows on the pockets here. I think I'm gonna do that too. Oh my gosh that's literally the most precious thing. I just oh, this trend is just so adorable to me. I want to layer on a jacket over top just to kind of make this a little bit more wintry. I'm just going to go for a big trench coat just to throw over top. I just have these little hoop earrings that I'm just going to throw on too. I love this outfit a lot more than the first one. I don't really know why. It might just be because I like my hair better in this outfit, but this one is like super practical for just like looking cute and like running around getting your errands done. Also, hi, my name is Katie. I post fashion content here every single week on YouTube. So if you are a fashion girly, you have come to the right place. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more trend videos. Last week, I made a video talking about all of the winter trends that I have been personally noticing on social media. And in this video, obviously, we are styling all of them. So if you haven't seen that one already, Go ahead and watch that one next and let's move on to the next trend. Satin maxi skirts. This is the most beautiful trend. I feel like it's such an elegant way to wear a casual outfit to just swap out a pair of jeans for a big beautiful satin skirt. This has been like the most common way that I have seen this outfit online and it's just like no styling of the, of the sweater, just a big oversized sweater over top of the maxi skirt. Honestly, I think it like looks fine. Uh, I'm incredibly comfortable, which is like the biggest highlight of this outfit. I feel like for me personally though, um, just adding the little tuck underneath my bra is, I think that's gonna be the move for me with this one. Just to kind of give it like a little bit more shape. I mean, you know, not a lot because it's still massive and oversized, but I think that that helps. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna roll the cuffs and I'm just gonna add some like chunky bracelets on just because I think that that will be, I don't know, 
cute. That's how I want to style this. Okay, we have some fun bracelets on and I guess next we just need a bag. I'm feeling like keeping this outfit decently neutral so I have on my little white boots and I'm just gonna go for this little white bag that I got from Amazon. This is going to be our finished look for our first version of the satin maxi skirt. We are gonna style a second version too. Kind of like the vibe of making a casual outfit in like a more dressed up outfit even though i think the first version of this that we did was like somewhat casual but okay t-shirt basic as it gets i got this one from express it is like the most comfortable thing ever i am gonna do just like a little tuck onto the side i want to pair this one with some sneakers because i feel like that's just the most like casual shoe. I have these super like clunky chunky sneakers which I think will hopefully look good. I live in California just prefacing this so this is definitely something that is decently appropriate on like a warmer sunny winter day. I am going to add a puffer jacket to this though and I'm also just going to rock a crossbody with this just because this is like my most casual bag. Amazing, fantastic. I'm like, sorry, I'm just like checking myself out in the mirror. I feel like I'm ignoring you. I don't mean to ignore you, but I also need to like make sure that I look approachable for you guys and I'm giving you good outfit inspiration. This is going to be our finished look for this one. I feel like I'm so warm and like ready to go in this. Okay, this is our next little satin maxi skirt outfit. This next trend is basically the exact opposite of this one, and it's the pantsless trend. And this one kind of scares me a little bit, but it's been one that I've been really wanting to experiment with. I don't personally have like the ones that are actually like underwear. These are quite literally like the little spandex that I wear underneath like my dresses and my skirts. I thrifted this sweater. It is just the most adorable thing. Let's just take a moment of appreciation for all of the pearls around the collar and the cuffs. This is giving ballet core to me. I don't know if it's just like the pink, but also these are low key old ballet shorts that I wore over my leotards and now they are like my underdress and skirt shorts. I'm, I'm wondering if I should go for like kind of a tall boot, this one is a little bit more wide or i have these gucci ones that are more slim fit and like hug the leg okay you know what i think we need to wear the gucci ones just because this is like a high fashion moment and <laughs> just feels appropriate i think that another aspect that really helps this trend with styling is having like a big oversized coat over top. I have a few options. The first one that I pulled out is actually not incredibly oversized. It's like a cropped trench coat, but I just kind of wanted to see like what that looks like. Not, not with this outfit, maybe another one, maybe in the next one, I'll leave it. I'll leave it out. I have this one from Zara. Oh yeah, this is like, this is really cute. Okay, I feel like this outfit needs like a super cute, tiny little bag. I think this one is gonna be the one. It's uh, it's kind of like a mini Kelly dupe. I got it from Princess Polly. I just think it is so precious. So, okay, I think this is our first styled outfit for the pantsless trend. I really like this. I feel very like sleek and this is a decently simple outfit too, which I love. I know I said I was gonna use that little cropped trench coat in the next outfit, but I have this zip up jacket that I got from the H&M Mugler collaboration and I just feel like this would look really sick. Oh, okay, this is kind of one of those go big or go home moments. I really like this. I really like this. I think this is so sleek. I like I so okay here's the thing I'm not sure if I would actually wear this wear this in real life but I really like this outfit I might do it for like the gram or if I lived in New York where everyone is just like busting out fits every single day but where I live like 
fashion does not exist i don't think my town could handle this outfit but i love this look i think this is so cool i feel like it would look good with the little crossbody that i have she is a fashion girly i okay i need to like challenge myself to actually wear this outfit in real life it just it feels crazy just because like these aren't like real pants you know but i love this one this is going to be our last outfit for the pantsless trend the next trend is pops of red and this is to any level that you want or that like you have like within your closet whether it's like a full monochrome red outfit or just like as simple as adding ribbons that were on a candle that you burned all the way down and now you have these cute little red ribbons that you can use to participate in trends like tying bows in your hair and having a little pop of red in your outfit you know what we'll still do the little mini trench coat outfit i'm gonna keep like the the no pants on i'm gonna swap out the jacket though for like a like a bodysuit this outfit is so cool too okay i also like ruined everything about my hair putting on a black turtleneck but we'll get past it it'll be okay this little cropped trench is so fun this is also another trend that i've been seeing a lot of recently like cropped trench coats that's like a little bonus one um that i didn't mention in my last trends video and i just thought that tying in the kind of khaki color of the trench and the black of the outfit with this little leopard print bag or cheetah print bag I'm not sure. I just think it looks cute. Okay, that's it. My point of like this outfit being in my like red color category is that it doesn't like take a lot. Like literally I got these ribbons off of a candle. Like you don't have to go out of your way to, you know, buy all these new colors or do all these new things with your wardrobe just to like be with the trend. You can just wear stuff that's already in your closet and if you like have little random things like lying around you can just be creative so okay this is our first outfit for the pop of red we're gonna go into a little bit more of a dramatic red outfit next big red sweater easy pick i paired it with this pleated skirt that i actually made and this skirt is featured in one of the sewing videos that i have on my youtube channel so if you want to check that out it will be linked right up here pleated skirts are another trend that i didn't mention in my trends video but is absolutely just all over the place right now i kept on my black tights and the black gucci boots and i think that for this one i want to go for the crossbody this bag almost feels like a piece of jewelry to me. I don't know, I just feel like it adds something to the outfit. I tried a few other purses with this and I don't know, I just think like the gold hardware and like the gold zippers and all that, like it just kind of adds like a little bit of bling and it's also super practical too. Anyways, this is the last outfit we are gonna style for the pop of red trend. The next trend is dark gray and ugh, this trend is so beautiful so i'm starting off with kind of like a blank slate just an all black outfit i have this bodysuit from express which is like the most comfortable and flattering thing i'm in love and then these pants are from the h m mugler collaboration you may see this conveniently placed cutout which makes bodysuits and underwear incredibly difficult where is the gray katie let me tell you i just recently got this insanely beautiful trench coat from urban revivo if you guys haven't shopped on urban revivo that is one of my personal favorite places to do online shopping oh yeah this is just like giving me city sleek cool girl energy this is kind of like the only gray thing I have in my closet. I do have some gray trousers, which we'll style for our second outfit, but like, oh, this jacket just over everything just completes my life. I'm just in love with this. Okay, wait, this is actually so good. I wanted to style this trench coat again because I, I love it and I just think it needs more airtime, I suppose. So this time I put a corset over top. Okay, talk about sleek, 
city princess energy. This is amazing. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could use the belt and tie it around, but I think for the sake of just like right now, this is like good as is. I am in love with this. I don't think it's gonna come as a surprise to anyone that I'm gonna style it with this little crossbody. I've just really liked all of the outfits that I've made in this video so far, I, I, but I think this one wins. The next trend we're styling is Sherpa, and oh, I wish so bad that I had like a little Sherpa bag. Those have been the things that have really like caught my eye as of this season of how Sherpa is being done differently. I feel like this material is always really popular in winter just because it's warm and cozy, but the Sherpa accessories are where it is at. Unfortunately, I don't have those, but I do have a few Sherpa jackets. I got this actually from ThreadUp, I think like two years ago, and it's just like a, I don't know, basic like zip up, but I really like that it has these leather, well, faux leather details on it. I have those same jeans that I was wearing earlier and these little brown leather boots, which kind of match the leather on the jacket really well. So another like trend that I didn't mention in my trends video is clutches. I know that going forward into next year, we're probably gonna be seeing a lot more clutches, and so I wanted to include a clutch with this outfit. This is our first Sherpa-styled outfit. This next Sherpa jacket is one that I have been seeing so many people online wearing. Not necessarily this specific one, but just like this style one, where it's kind of like a oversized moto style jacket the entire thing is lined with sherpa so it is just super warm and cozy i got this jacket from commence and uh yeah i just kind of have this all black denim little outfit underneath just to kind of make this a little bit more of an edgy girl outfit oh this is so comfortable you know i'm like i'm really feeling this cheetah print and it's not exactly sherpa but it's like a soft and fuzzy fabric so i feel like that just kind of like hits the mark a little bit i mean you know we missed it but we were in the vicinity anyways so this is going to be our last little sherpa outfit and we just have one more trend to go the last trend that we're going to be styling for today's video is faux fur coats and jackets and there's lots of variations of this so go check out my trends video if you want to see all the different ways that we're seeing this because i only have this one thing in my closet that is faux fur and it's kind of like a poncho type thing if i can even figure it out so this is like the only faux fur thing i have in my closet so it's kind of my only option for styling which i'm actually kind of happy about because i haven't styled this in a really long time or worn it in a while so it is kind of fun to like play around with this so for this first look i just wanted to go all white kind of snow bunny energy i actually don't mind this i think this will do so for our final faux fur outfit i just kind of went in the opposite direction this time i did an all black outfit and i really like the brown and the black with this specific piece also just in general i think brown and black look really nice together this one definitely feels a little bit more elegant than the last one and i think i like this one better than the first one so i'm gonna give this one a thumbs up i just have on this knit long sleeve and a knit little skirt and i just threw on my tights and the gucci boots and with all of that thank you guys so much for watching it is so fun to be building and growing this community here with you guys on youtube i am so infinitely grateful if you haven't hit that subscribe button already please do it would mean the world to me and until i see you next time bye friends